Wow, York Minster, it's magnificent, isn't it? Just a year ago, Libby Lane walked down this very aisle and into the history books, becoming the first woman bishop in the Church of England. So today on Songs of Praise, she reflects on the challenges and she prepares to see herself captured on canvas. The real privilege has been not to be the first to open this door, but then to hold it open. One of those following Libby is Ellie Bangay. She's York Minster's first female curate and the youngest in the country. Richard Taylor is in another cathedral, Canterbury, exploring its links with the 12th century Chaucer. And seven months after the devastating terrorist attack on holidaymakers in Tunisia, I've come to hear how one survivor is coming to terms with his terrifying ordeal. That's when I realised that I was probably going to die. In honour of Libby Lane's first year as a bishop, many of our hymns today are written and performed by women. And we begin with a traditional favourite by Fanny Crosby, brought right up to date with a modern accompaniment. And it's led by Nathan Jess. Canon of the Church of England, authorised by the measure... Was On the 26th of January 2015, in York Minster, Libby Lane was consecrated as the first female bishop in the Church of England. It's been 12 months of new experiences, challenges and a few surprises, not least when her former college asked her to sit for her first portrait. And do you just want me to stand here like a spare part? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's been a year of real delight. There have been a number of surprises. I've found myself in unexpected places. 
I'm standing in the middle of a field giving prizes to the best cow at the Cheshire Show. But there's also been the opportunities that quite rightly will never be in the public profile, the conversations with those who have been bereaved. When, in July, lives were lost in an explosion at a local woodmill, Bishop Libby ministered to a community deeply shaken by the disaster. But challenges have come in many forms, and opposition to her appointment was vocalised even at her consecration. No, not in the Bible. With respect, Your Grace, I ask to speak on this absolute impediment, please. Although I'm not unrealistic about the problems that we face, I'm glad that I belong to a church that allows opposition to be voiced, that we can disagree with each other um, and still belong to one another in Christ. It takes some getting used to that my own face is going to be recorded forever. So I wanted your eye to be fed into the portrait, passed through her hands, her episcopal ring, uh, uh, and through her ultimately to end up on her faith. The contribution of women to every area of life throughout time has been enormous, but often undervalued and until very recently almost entirely unrecognised publicly. So right now I'm a little bit tense because we're about to show Bishop Libby the portrait for the first time. Ready for the big reveal? This is where I've got to so far. Tom, that is absolutely marvellous. It, it, it looks like me, which is Wonderful. always That's a, a good, good thing. Start. And yeah. I think it looks like I'm about to smile. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> happy. Thank you, yeah. Tom. Pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Uh, people do speak of what I'm doing as being a pioneer, but I feel like somebody who is walking in the footsteps of countless women and men who have actually prepared the road for me to be able to walk.